Hey there, today I want to show you how to improve your coding speed with assembly definitions. I think you already know this case. You make a little change and then go back to Unity and wait. Sometimes you wait a couple of minutes just because you changed one character. So here it was not that long. But if you have a complex project with a lot of files, you can wait a long, long time. So to improve that, you can create assembly definitions. You can create them in any folder you want by right click and create and then assembly definition. I already created one here and called it global. And because I put this in the main script folder, I have to import every assembly I want to use in my scripts folder. So that's why you see on the right the Unity engine, the input system, TextMesh Pro, LeanTween and Photone. These are all assembly definitions on the same project but not in the same folder or subfolders. So now Unity doesn't have to recompile everything outside the script folder if I made changes inside the script folder. So let's get one step down. I created another assembly definition in the multiplayer folder down here. Here I also need to import every assembly I need to use in this folder and its subfolders. I also need to import the global assembly we created because I need to access some scripts from the global folder. You can always check where your scripts belong if you click on them and then see in the inspector the assembly information. So let's go into the multiplayer manager and make a little change. Here I just erase some blank lines. Save the file and go back to Unity. You may be not noticing the difference at all here because it's a very small project. But if you have a large project with multiple levels and multiple files, you will notice the difference right away. So this could be a benefit in your all day working, but don't try to over engineer it. Because sometimes assembly definitions can cause problems by accessing other scripts. And speaking of problems, Visual Studio sometimes doesn't recognize the assembly definitions. If that happens, you can go to Edit, Preferences and External Tools and click on Regenerate Project Files. And if you don't want Unity to refresh the files at all, you can turn off the auto refresh in general. So, I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.